just explain to you about Tai Chi right now. What is Tai Chi? Tai Chi, where they take, where, where's the Tai Chi come from? The, you know, they always ask, you know, people they always say, oh, Tai Chi is come from the young star, come from a Chen star. And where the Chen star come from? So, when the China government, they did research, that the Chen star come from Shaolin Temple, which is true. Chen star does come from Shaolin Temple. So nobody believe it. But the history is there. You cannot change the history. So, Shaolin Temple is 1,500 years old. And uh, they even make a movie about it. Like, you know, the Tai Chi Master, Jesus Lee did it. They even make a movie about it. So, Tai Chi is part of uh, in Shaolin Temple, they call internal meditation and the movement meditation style for monks who are training for Kung Fu for so long, so hard, really powerful, and they need something for themselves to calm down their mind, their character. Sometimes you can, because they always train explosive stuff, like on the sub, punch power, so matter. You want to fight, you want to become like, you know, you want to show how good you are. But when you do Tai Chi, Tai Chi is to bring you down, bring you, bring your character, bring your mind, calm down, called movement meditation. That's why Chan Shalin Temple, they still have Yi Jin Jin, Ba Dan Jin, like this kind of stuff. That stuff. That stuff. This is, this is Shaolin Temple internal Qigong style for your healthy. And Tai Chi is also one part of that movement, which is so powerful because they use internal movements, slow and move, and to explore the power of your full body, like BAM! After training Tai Chi. You know what they say? They say, you train is four years Shaolin Kung Fu. You can beat somebody, you can fight. You train in, you have to, you have, for Tai Chi, you have to train in 20 years. Then you can, you can, you can, you can, you can become a good fighter. You can become a good martial artist. You can fight those people. Kung Fu, you train in three, four years, you already can fight with somebody. You see how different that is? So Tai, because Tai Chi is more for yourself. When you do the movements, like when the Tai Chi, no, when you do the movements, when you move in, in when you start to move, like this kind of movement. Like this kind of, this kind of movement is it's very, very beautiful and very, very quiet and very, you know, like, you know, like this uh, English, that's like a tranquility, you know, that kind of feeling. You know, you feel so quiet and you can make the movements like, a, you know, you really into yourself and you feel the qi and uh, you know, that's qi in there, that's what's called yin yang. You train kung fu, you need to train tai chi. If you only know kung fu, if you don't know tai chi, you feel like you're not bad. You need to balance for yourself. And that's what tai chi for. So in Shaolin Temple, they don't call tai chi. They call internal, internal movement meditation. That's in Shaolin Temple, that's what they say, in English. And uh, Wudang also comes from Shaolin. Nobody knows what Wudang is. Wudang is one star called like Tai Chi star, like Wudang Tai Chi. That's what's how Shaolin monk left Shaolin Temple, went to Wudang, opened a temple there, and then uh, teaching that kind of soft internal movement meditation and the train is sword every single way and become powerful as a martial art strong very powerful martial art in history as well so that's that's an attack and also you know yin yang yin yang you know you need to know you need to balance with everything yourself if you don't balance that's not good for you that's what you need and everybody when I look that when I look at like people who train martial arts, you know, boxing, other stuff, 
you know, when they, they, the loss come through, they you know sometimes so when you look at them, they're ah, looking at them, you know, some people, they know people, some in the, some people in the street that trying a couple years of martial arts, they lost control, they just want to fight anybody, they want to prove it themselves for good deal. That's, that's so stupid. So that's, you know, that's, you see, that's no balance. You need to balance. That's no balance. You need to balance yourself. That's why you need to challenge about the training Kung Fu. They also have to teach you internal, teach you Tai Chi. Tai Chi is so coming down. Tai Chi is internal. You know, when you move slow, you move, you breathe, and you run south like that. You see, you move your inside, you turn, those kind of, those kind of movements. That kind of stuff. The reason is, you know, not much jump, not much jump up, down, you know, kick or that kind of stuff. It's more like a, you know, kick very slow, see like this, you know, and uh, you always balance, think down to the floor, you keep the energy all the way down, all, always down to, in China they call it Dan Tian. Every is in Dan Tian. And after you up a couple of years, your body feel like a leg so strong, so powerful, and you keep the energy in there, like, then you explode your power. Take just always like this, you slow, you slow, relax, then you keep your energy, everything into one, like I told you last time, everything focus on one punch, one here, you focus all the power to here from the dentine energy come to this arm like a bang punch. That see like that's like that's the power. That that's the that, that's a real punch. That you, you really can punch somebody away. You really can like use your body. That's Tai Chi. And the Tai Chi it's more when you train Tai Chi, anybody can train Tai Chi. Kung Fu, you train a couple years, so when you're 60, 70, you can, your body, you cannot move to, like, you know, Tai Chi, you can train it when you're from, when you're 13 years old, you can train it in your 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. So, I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is just, uh, you know, try to, try to understand what is Tai Chi. And when you become like really, really like a, I mean, really, really become like a training, really good with Tai